Thank you. Meanwhile, universities are trying to work out what student life will be like when campuses reopen in the autumn. Social distancing could mean that students are forced to live and study in the same small group or bubble with online lectures and even a virtual freshers' week. Dan Johnson has been speaking to A-level students in Loughborough who are considering their options. I'm hoping to study English at Bristol University. I'm hoping to go to Leicester to study physiotherapy. I'm hoping to study business management at York University. Imagine making one of life's biggest decisions when everything's up in the air. I did consider deferring. The worst thing I could do would be to take a gap year and then I can't go on and do the things I wanted to do. If I'm not going to get away from home, is there any point of paying all that money if it's not something that I 100% want to do? I am also nervous about the idea of losing out on the student experience a bit because I feel like that is a big part of university. So. And across the road at Loughborough University. So welcome to our brand new, unused, 580-seater lecture theatre. Even the most modern facilities already feel redundant. We miss our students and we're very keen to have them back and give them the best experience we can, given the current government restrictions. So we may not get 580 in, but we could probably get 50 or 60 in. The timetable's being redrawn to help social distancing, and students may have to live and study with the same small group to limit who they mix with. Freshers Week is going online, like most of the lectures. No wonder some are reconsidering. I would just urge students, if they are thinking about deferring, is not to make that decision just yet. Gather as much information as possible before making that final determination. A lot will change between now and September. They'll go through uh, an airport star scanner, which measures their temperature on the thermal imaging. A lot's changed already here in Bolton as they try to keep students on campus. Fortunately, uh, I've cleared so I can go through. <laughs> and what we've done here is followed all the social distancing guidelines and rules for workplace and indeed for social space to ensure that students have got a COVID secure environment. These students are valuable, especially if international numbers fall, so universities need to ease their anxiety. It is stressful and it's, it is confusing at times, but there's not, you just sort of got to get on with it. You do pay a lot of money to be there, you put in a lot of debt afterwards. The idea of going through all of that and not quite getting what you hoped for is a bit disappointing. Dan Johnson, BBC News, Loughborough.